The 2011 Buffalo Bills got off to a hot start, starting out at 4-1, but they finished their season at 6-10. I'm going to break down their 2012 offseason, uh, break down their free agents, who I think they should take a look at in the uh, draft in April, and uh, I'm going to get to that right now. just mentioned the Buffalo Bills finished their 2011 season at 6 and 10. Uh, I believe the reason why they're drafting 10th overall is due to their run defense. Uh, they could not stop the run. They were ranked 28th in the league and I'm going to address a couple of those needs in a second. I'm going to hit on the free agents right now. They have un uh, 11 unrestricted free agents. Everybody knows Steve Johnson is a, a free agent. He's 25 years old but uh, they are talking about uh, re-signing him in Buffalo. Possibly even Scott Chandler. He's a free agent. He's 26 years of age. Uh, he helped Fitzpatrick out uh, in the, at the tight end position. He caught about, I believe, it was six touchdowns, nearly 400 yards. So he did produce for him at the tight end position. Um, and maybe I don't know about Roscoe Parrish. Maybe re-sign him, but uh, he's he's a bit of a smaller receiver. He'd be he's more of a slot receiver as well. So um, there's a chance they re-sign him. There's a chance they don't. Now come draft day, they're going to need to look at defensive end, outside linebacker, uh, middle linebacker, and maybe a wide receiver. Um, reason I, I'm talking more uh, heavily on the defensive side of the ball, took a look at the defensive ends that the, the Bills have. Not too many, I mean, not a guy who, they don't have guys right there at that position who can produce. They drafted Marcel Darius at D-tackle, maybe address the defensive line again in this first round, or they could address the outside linebacker or middle linebacker need um, to get that pass rush and also help stop the run because that's where they need it the most. Um, and I mentioned wide receiver because after Steve Johnson, you got a couple guys who are possibly twos or threes, more and more towards the three side. You're going to need that number two guy to solidify the wide receiving core uh, around Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick is going to be uh, around for a long time in Buffalo because they just signed him last year to a long-term extension. Um, so if you build around Fitzpatrick on the offensive side of the ball, you re-sign Steve Johnson, re-sign Scott Chandler, you got yourself a bit of an offense there in Buffalo that can... Uh, they can do some damage. Now come draft day, since I'm addressing more of the defensive side of the ball for the first round of the draft, I believe they can take a look at three different players. Luke Keekley out of uh, Boston College, he's a middle linebacker. He's a uh, top 10 prospect at the moment, top 15 prospect. Um, Courtney Upshaw is also a top 15 prospect at outside linebacker. He's from Alabama. He's a number one out, uh, outside linebacker in this draft right now. And uh, even Melvin Ingram, he's a number two defensive end uh, behind um, Quinton Copels. Uh, Melvin Ingram is out of South Carolina. I believe he can also bring some production for you. So those are the three players I can see the Bills taking a look at. Um, but as of right now, I believe this could change. Uh, I have the Bills taking Luke Keekley, the middle linebacker, out of Boston College. Uh, that's part of my 2.0 draft. Um, but come 3.0, I very well could have it change. Um, that's all I have for the Buffalo Bills for the uh, 2012 tw for the 2012 offseason. Come the 2012-2013 offseason, or the 2012-2013 season, sorry. Uh, it should be interesting. If you guys re-sign your offensive weapons, uh, if you guys possibly draft like a third round wide receiver, but you address the defense in the first two, uh, first two picks of the draft, rounds one and two, I believe you guys will be going somewhere. So, uh... If you guys enjoyed that video, you guys like that video, new to my channel, hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. I also have uh, Facebook and Twitter. I'll supply the links down below. Um, and I'm also working on a new website. If you go to my YouTube page, uh, it'll be under the website uh, uh, area. You just click on the link, check it out. It's pretty cool. Uh, we've done interviews with NFL players as well. So check that out. Um, that's all I got for the Buffalo Bills. So uh, I'm out.